Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Ask CC. My name's Claudio Cuomo, of course, from Claudio and Marwan Residential. And this month, we look at how do you get sold in a changing market? Well, absolute awesome question that was posed to us this week. And folks at home, unless you've been hiding under a rock, you're probably quite well aware that since around October last year in 2017, to current to date, most of Melbourne's inner city markets alongside Sydney's inner city markets have been settling, cooling anywhere from five to 10% downwards over this six to seven month period. As such, a lot of owners are now starting to experience extended campaigns, longer days on market, and are still remaining unsold. So let's take a look at some of the key ingredients you need to have in place to ensure you've got the very best chance to be sold in a changing market. Now let's analyze a recent case study and a successful sale over at 5 Hermione Avenue in Oak Park. One thing that I've learned over 14 years is presentation is key. Now this particular home, the sellers took on board and took advantage of our complimentary on staff styling service. After meeting with our stylist, they implemented some key styling recommendations that were made to really make the home feel a lot more open and spacious. And this was done by simply as repositioning some furniture, freshening up and repainting the, all the walls inside, adding some decorative uh, art pieces and other items to really brighten and liven the property up. What this actually means for you as the property owner is it ensures that your home stands out from the crowd, attracts more buyers and will be more competitively fought. And this made an incredible difference in the end result. Correct pricing is another key factor. And now more than ever, it's important to have your home priced correctly. If you're even a few percent off and slightly off the mark from where buyers in the marketplace are perceiving value, your home can linger and become stale. And one thing we know is the longer a home is for sale in a downwards trending market, the more sellers have to adjust and lower their price in order to get successfully sold. The far better strategy to attract more buyers is to use a fair inquiry range and build momentum to still create a premium price with healthy interest and buyer competition. What this means for you, the seller, is ideally more people to push your price. In this type of changing market, buyer work is king. What we mean by this is you simply cannot stand at the front door of opens and expect campaigns to sell themselves by taking names and numbers. What you really need to make it work in this climate is a team of buyer specialists to work the hottest of hot, hot buyers, ones that may have missed out on recent sales or other auctions, may have already sold their own properties and are really highly motivated to buy. It's also important to switch buyers from other homes and properties that they've seen that may not have initially been considered or have even chosen to inquire in your home. This is what creates successful sales in this market climate. Well, luckily in my own personal team, all of our sellers have access to our two dedicated buyer specialists along with myself. We're completely solely dedicated to making all this happen, which is why our current average days on market is only 27 compared to our local areas 42 days average time on market. Now, having the right plan. Well, again, more than ever, the right plan right now is key. Now, I've always believed that auction doesn't necessarily suit every single type of home, and I still do. However, this isn't the time, as most agents can do, to be shying away from the auction process, as what an auction does is it still creates a deadline for buyers to act and creates a sense of urgency. It's an environment where the sale is unconditional, and if all the above are done correctly, even in today's climate, while well, you can still create multiple buyers to be interested on the day and compete. And if you do all of this correctly, this is what can happen. Is when the hammer does hit my hand, all bids will be final. Hey, look at raising your hand today because of the locale. It may be that very rare combination of four bedroom, three bathroom. 800, welcome to the bidding, sir. I'll tell you what, friends, you've let him pinch the gift bag for you. Eight and a quarter here, welcome to the bidding. 825 now, 825, we'll round you to eight and a half. One, two, three bidders here today should give you supreme confidence here at Five Hermione. 850 and 875 now. Eight and a half and eight and three quarters we have. At 875 now, bids against you, ma'am. I say 25 on top and round me to nine even. Okay, at 895 with 15 on top, that rounds us to 910 now. 915, 915, stick with your tens, I think it'll be a better strategy. Five on top, so 915, 920, 930. What do you make at 35, ma'am? Nice bold bidding is what you need here today. 935, 45, welcome back at 940. But at 945, they've got the keys. You might have to get your hands out of your pockets and get ready to celebrate, because at 945, we will be selling no further fans from the bidding man. Last chance at closing curtains. And sold. Congratulations to our new homeowners here today. 
I hope this helps you in understanding what it actually takes to get sold in this type of market climate. After 14 years in the business and actually working through various changing markets, if there's any further questions that we can help out with, or you'd like to find out how one of our local expert team could assist you in getting sold, just reach out on any of the details that we always have below on screen, as that's the way we love to do business. Take care, thanks for tuning in, and look forward to helping you again soon. Bye for now.